Brr. Bow. Bow, 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 bow. Shout out again. Everybody talking. Let's talk about this crazy white woman that broke this serial killer nigga out of jail. Nobody talking about. Let's talk about that. Shall we begin? Let's talk about that. The lookout. Good evening to you. I'm Marnie Hughes. This is a special edition of News Nation Prime for you tonight. One hour focused on this case and this manhunt with new information and exclusive interviews that you have never seen before now. Vicki White, a former Alabama corrections officer who isn't who people thought she was, and Casey White, a murder suspect who is much more evil than anyone could have imagined. Talk about this, this is an unlikely pair caught up in a web of lies and she broke the nigga out. She had everyone fooled. He has nothing to lose. It has been seven days since she broke him out of jail in Alabama, and they could be anywhere. And within the last few hours, that getaway car we've all been looking for has been found. It's that copper-colored SUV Vicky purchased using an alias that was discovered nearly four hours Let's talk about that. in Florence, Alabama. Abandoned. Let's talk about that. No sign of these fugitives. My gut is telling me that uh, they're on the, they're obviously on the run, and uh, you know that they probably right now. You know, I, I think the fact that, that they abandoned this car so quick and where they abandoned it, I think it threw them a curve. I don't think they planned for that. They could be anywhere right now, and until they are caught, no one is safe. I want to bring in senior national correspondent Brian Enton. He is joining us live tonight from Florence, Alabama. Brian, now that the getaway car has been found, police are starting back at square one, essentially. The Let's talk about that. Jump in that car. Everybody want to talk. Their plan. So why did this old bitch broke this nigga out of jail? That that car actually broke down. It was found in a rural part of Tennessee, but the sheriff says it was not necessarily uh, hidden, which makes him think that they had some kind of maintenance problem with it. What's interesting is they did appear to uh, try to spray paint the car to change the color of it. But what's so frustrating right now for law enforcement, Marty, uh, is that car was actually discovered a week ago in Tennessee. Someone spotted it, thought it was odd that it was abandoned. It was towed to a tow yard, but it was not until today uh, that the law enforcement officials in Tennessee contacted the sheriff's office here uh, in Alabama and said, wait a minute, we think this is their car. Uh, so they basically gave uh, Vicky and Casey one week. Uh, Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how they on the I-9 fly. Maybe nobody ain't talking. Shall we begin? Brr, eh, bop, 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 bop. I hit him in the head with a head shot. I hit him in the leg with a leg shot. I'll rock a nigga snap box. Are y'all not entertained? God damn it. 